Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And as you guys can see, I went outside again. I've become the raccoon of freedom yet again. So per our usual arrangement, make sure you mercilessly mock me in the comments down below for having a sunglass tan on the internet. I know, but we've got a lot of freedom we've got to get to, so I'm willing to endure it if you are. And thank you so much for tuning in, guys. We have got to dive into something that is so just... Oh, it's so awkward when the internet remembers because we're going to dive into some uh, leaked or revived or re-emerged, as the media like to says, clips of Kamala Harris. And to be quite honest with you, anybody in any swing state who has any any uh, regard for their Second Amendment rights at all would probably find these a little concerning. So as we go through this, guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on, send this to everyone that you know because they all need to know about it. All right. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we're going to play, turn the volume up for you guys. This is Kamala Harris's reaction. This is from the account of Costas Moros. Um, this is actually her reaction to the Heller decision. The Heller decision. The Supreme Court Heller decision. Yeah, listen to what she says. I'm going to play about the first two minutes. I'm going to add some commentary as we go. Um, but this one should be a situation. And special shout out to Phil Knut for tagging me on this on Twitter. And it's definitely worth our look. Check it out. public safety in our city and county. I was proud when months ago, district attorney from across the country, 17 district attorneys elected from across the country, joined me when I asked them to submit a brief to the United States Supreme Court outlining why this decision, the Heller decision, could impact public safety in a way that could threaten lives across this country. All right, so I'm, I'm going to pause it for a second. If you guys are having trouble hearing that, I'm going to link it right down in the description box below for you guys so you can find it yourselves and share it out. Um, <clears throat> this raccoon of freedom always brings his receipts. But she's talking about the Heller decision. She led 17 other states in an amicus brief in the SCOTUS against the Heller decision. So she was against your individual right to own a firearm because that's what the Heller decision was, is do you have a right to have a gun in your own home? Is it an individual right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, okay, wait till I show you the other two clips that have emerged as well. This woman is a tyrant. But anyway, let's keep going. I was disappointed yesterday to read the majority of people, which did not go Yes, it acknowledged that the Second Amendment is not an absolute right. Yes, it acknowledged the Second Amendment is not without limitations. However, because of the way the language was used to uphold the Second Amendment as an individual right, the NRA and others will be attacking San Francisco with the belief that the all right, so I changed the mic. Hopefully you guys could hear that a little bit better. Um, it's an individual right with the belief that it's an individual right to own a firearm. The Second Amendment, the people, the right of the people to keep and bear arms is an individual right. That's what she wrote against. Individual right in the Heller decision. This is from when Heller was actually released. This is her first press conference after it. All right, now... Let me get you over here to the next one. Also something you probably haven't seen. If you have any doubts about how much of a tyrant this woman is, guys, you've got to vote. Like, honest to God, this stuff is terrifying. And if you don't, the next four years are going to be a very long four years. Please vote. Check this out. Collectively, as, as a group of people um, who live in the city of San Francisco, who care about the city of San Francisco, and who realize that this place behind us, the Cow Palace, is basically state property that is allowing the state of California to be a merchant in selling tools of death. 
All right, so the reason that that is really important is because this is where you would have gun shows. In fact, you can look right up here in the little commentary, right up here. It's from the NRA. When Kamala Harris was serving as San Francisco district attorney, she conflated criminal activity with lawful gun ownership, calling guns tools of death and wanting to outright ban gun shows. So all of the leftist California ideals around banning gun shows came from this. Kamala Harris as attorney general. Okay. She is standing in front of a warehouse or a trade center, and she's trying to say that the fact that gun shows existed behind her that were sold legally in legal owning citizens, that is tools of death that are making murders happen. Guys, I just showed you a clip of how she said the Heller decision was wrong to say that gun rights is an individual right, not belonging to the military or the militia. Okay, that's a big freaking deal. I just showed you how she wants to shut down legal gun ownership because she calls them tools of death. If you had any more questions, let's continue. How about we go to this one? You guys have seen this one before. This one, I'm going to go ahead and preemptively reload this one because it does, I don't want it to jam up. This is what she said about California and red flag laws. Again, this should, this should pretty much put the nail in the coffin if you're questioning if she's lying or not about respecting the Second Amendment. Check this out behavior uh, among everybody in the community and just because you legally possess a gun in the sanctity of your locked home doesn't mean that we're not going to walk into that home and check to see if you're being responsible and safe in the way you conduct your affairs. That is the woman that wants to be president of the United States. Just because you own a gun, a gun behind a locked door in the sanctity of your own home doesn't mean we're not going to come into that home and check your affairs to check you're being responsible with your affairs. Guys, I'm going to wrap this up and you need to send this to everyone because literally you just saw a clip from 2005 when she said that the Heller decision was wrong and gun ownership is not an individual right. It's right there in the clip. It's also linked in the description. Same with all these. Then you saw that any place that sells a gun legally with background checks is a tool of death and a merchant of death and they should get rid of all of them. And then I just showed you how she's going to go into your homes and check that you're being responsible with your affairs. Guys, this is a tyrant. This is literally a far left gun controlling tyrant walking around acting like she's the joy and hope of everything. I'm telling you, if you do not activate and you do not get people to the polls with you, you defend your friends, your family, everyone that you know, this is going to be four years of a whole lot of a whole lot of work. A whole lot. And a whole lot of holding the line. And we've already gotten done with four of those. So why don't we just save ourselves the trouble and go on the offense? when you go out and vote. That's the stuff, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.